In this video, I'm gonna go through exactly what Rishi Sunak, Chancellor of the Exchequer's budget means for your business, especially if you're in leisure, attractions and tourism, and you're employing people and you've got staff on furlough. It's good news for you. I'm gonna reveal all with my clothes on. Let's go. Hey YouTube, James Sinclair on the channel designed to help grow your business. If you're serious about entrepreneurship, make sure you subscribe to the channel, comment below and let me know what you think as I go. Big day for entrepreneurs because Rishi Sunak done his summer statement yesterday. For those of you that don't know, Rishi Sunak is the Chancellor of the Exchequer and he holds the purse strings for entrepreneurs, business owners, basically everyone here in the country. And for my industry, he's made a huge difference and I'm so excited and so thankful for what this government have done to support businesses through coronavirus. Now, here's the first thing that's coming up that's going to help us save jobs and increase our business and grow our business, VAT. For leisure, tourist attractions, visitor attractions, hospitality, he's reduced VAT down to 5% from 20%. That's a huge amount. Now on a 12 month annualized basis for our business, that'll be 1.5 million pounds back into our business. That means that we can pay some of this huge amount of debt that's come back. We've taken on a million pounds worth of debt. We've closed, we've got landlords, rents and due and oh, all of this stuff. Now some people say, oh, you should be reducing your prices. In usual times, I would say businesses should reduce their prices to allow for this. The fact is though, businesses have have had so much turnover lost. This is gonna be a way that they can get that turnover back into their business, pay down some of this debt and save jobs, save jobs. And that's what we're gonna be doing with it. We're gonna not increase our prices, but we're gonna use some of that money to keep people employed and keep our businesses going. I'm literally over the moon about that. Well done, Rishi, on that. I've been campaigning for VAT to go down to 5% in our sector for 10 years. It's finally happened now. It's only till the end of January, but I do think he will take it further. Because once we're used to paying 5%, I can't see him like whacking it up to 20% straight away. So I'm thinking this is hopefully a thing that's going to stay around and be good for us. Next big thing is for everyone that keeps a member of staff on furlough, uh, uh, takes them off furlough and then keeps them employed up to January next year, um, you're going to get a thousand pound bonus from the government. So for us, that could be anywhere between 170 and 300,000 pounds worth of cash into our business. So I haven't done the final sums on that, but it's going to be at least 170,000 pounds. Again, that's going to pay for a lot of the debts. And, we, we, you know, I'm, I'm believing now that we're not going to have to make anyone redundant. As long as we can get open and trade our indoor businesses, that Rishi has saved so many jobs. So well done, Rishi. It's not usually that I want to thank the government, but jobs are going to be saved. We're going to invest that cash. We're going to grow our business. And in turn, that will grow the Treasury's exchequer through raises of tax on profit rather than tax on turnover, which is something I've always been campaigning for. Because making employment cheaper makes jobs better created. Making Turnover taxes lower makes the you know, the business make more profit, and then you pay tax on the right play. I mean, you, loads of you guys that have been watching my videos. I've always been saying you should tax profit, not turnover. That's finally happened. Let's talk about stamp duty. Stamp duty, um, you know, is a tax on moving. It's a tax on improving. It's a tax on people trying to get their foot on the ladder. And he's reinvigorated the property economy, which is a huge part of the UK PLC. Um, you won't pay stamp duty now on the first five hundred thousand pounds of buying a property, um, as long as it's your main residence. And if it's a second property, you're going to get a discount of about half of what you would pay on that £500,000. You just pay the 3% surcharge for property investment, but you won't have to pay the usual stamp duty on that first half a million. Savings all round, I think that is going to get people spending cash and putting money in the economy through the housing market. Well done, Rishi. So quite frankly, I mean, this Rishi Sunak, I'm thinking about getting in a relationship with him. He's that fantastic, in my opinion. He's really saved our businesses, and that's what I'm so happy about. There's a number of other things that have come out in the budget that's all good news stuff. Once I've dissected that, I'll come on here and let you know. 16 to 24-year-olds, big part of their wages being subsidised for the next 12 months. That's going to benefit us as well. Once I know the details of that, I'll let you know on the YouTube channel. Let me know what you're thinking about this budget. Is it good news for your business? Has it hurt you? Has it helped you? Let me know in the comments below. Now, I want to talk to you about three challenges that I'm going through right now. So as much as we've got plenty of cash, we've bolstered up our balance sheets, I've got three opportunities that I want to buy again. I'm trying to buy this soon. I've got the deposit for it. I need about a million pounds worth of funding. I'm calling every single bank and supplier. Just, I know that I can literally smash it. In normal times, I'd be able to get the funding like that. This is what I'm finding right now. Now, whilst there's simple loans and bounce back loans, but traditional lending is tough, even if you've got a good profitable business like us. So, I mean, I'll get it over the line, but it's much tougher than it usually 
news year. So the banks are pulling in the purse strings on normal economic growth and business investment. So um, I'm on that one as well. Um, I'm buying an industrial estate and another industrial unit. They're challenging to fund. Um, I'm talking to HSBC and Barclays on them. And whilst they're having the conversations with me because they know what we've got around us, this is not as easy as it usually would be. So I'm struggling on those. I do think this is the first signs of why we're going to have a recession because banks are pulling in their funding because they've done so much of this Sybil's loan stuff and this bounce back loan stuff. I predicted this and this is the problem. So if you want to grow a business right now and you want to get funding and you're, it's a new business but it's an industry that you understand and usual times you'll be able to get the money you're going to find it tough. So um, I'm trying to find the creative ways of doing this. I'm throwing everything at it and the kitchen sink because now is when those deals are around. You know the deals are coming up right now and I like to do things in a recession. I'm like recessions are great for my sector. You know less people are going to go on holiday. We're a cheap day out for most of the people so people want to do things with their kids I want to open more day nurseries now is when I'm trying to do this stuff and I've got my funding in place for deposits to go and buy these freehold properties that we're going to trade from but god um, our banks asking more questions than ever and this is the time when you can get those deals and that's why people that have got cash in an economic downturn are the ones that are going to hugely benefit so that's a little update from me James Sinclair here on the James Sinclair YouTube channel helping you grow your business let me know what you think in the comments below subscribe to the channel please tell your mates about it and don't forget to listen to my podcast where I'm coaching business owners on how to grow their business. You can listen to my podcast, James Sinclair's Business Podcast, wherever you get your podcasts. Watch this video here. It tells you about getting customers and I think that's an crucial part of growing your business and subscribe to the channel by clicking here. I'm James Sinclair. See you soon. Bye-bye.